I am going to discuss on the topic comparative anatomy of the stomach. The stomach is basically a dilation of the digestive tract for the temporary storage of food. Only when it's lining, epithelium contains the gastric gland, then it's known as a true stomach. And the stomach is a muscular chamber or a series of chamber that is found in the ruminating animals that serves as a receiving sites for recently ingested foods and secret digestive enzymes and lubricative mucus mixed with digestive juice. The digestive function of the stomach is apparently a secondary acquisition. The shape of the stomach is related to the shape of the body. In such elongated creatures, such as snake, it extends longitudinally, but in those with wider bodies, it occupies a more transverse position. The end of the stomach, which connects to the esophagus, that is known as a cardiac end, and the main portion is called the body. The pyloric end connects to the intestine and terminates at the pylorus or the pyloric valve. This consists of a folds of the lining mucous membrane surrounded by a thin involuntary sphincter muscle which regulates the passage of the contents of the stomach into the intestine. The stomach is a straight when uh, it's a first differentiates in the embryo and remains straight throughout the life in some lower vertebrates. Most often flexors developed and that's producing j or the u structure. As a result, the stomach may exhibit a concave border that is known as a lesser curvature and a convex border that is known as a greater curvature. The lesser curvature is actually ventral and the greater curvature that is the dorsal in position. The expansion at the cardiac end of the stomach that is formed by the greater curvature and a sac-like fundus which contains the gastric glands. Now the fundic glands are composed of four functionally cell types. Mucus cells that secretes uh, soluble mucus, then a uh, cheap cell Chip cells, also known as gymogen cells or peptic cells that secret pepsinogen on contact with the acids of the gastric juice, the pepsinogen is converted to pepsin, that is a proteolytic enzymes. And then uh, parietal cells, these are the parietal cells. It is also known as the oxyntic cells that secret hydrochloric acid and intrinsic factor. What is intrinsic factor? That is a glycoprotein that is essential for the absorption of vitamin B12. And another type of the cell, enteroendocrine cells, that secret gastrointestinal polypeptide hormone, gastrin, that is a principal effective agent for stimulating the secretion of hydrochloric acid. Now, the size of the stomach that is uh, influenced by the nature of food, interval of the food, and the duration of the food. And the stomach uh, that varies uh, among uh, different vertebrates at first stomachs in uh, cyclostomes. The cyclostomes have no definitive stomach. The stomach is a very poorly developed and consists of a little more than an almost gradual enlargement of the posterior end of the esophagus. Now, stomach in uh, fishes, that's a highly valid. Stomach is not demarcated externally from the esophagus, but can be distinguished by the differences on the basis of mucus pores that is thin in the esophagus whereas become more thicker and wavy outline in the stomach. And a considerable variety of the stomachs uh, observed among different aliased. In polypterus, the stomach appear as a blind pouch having a long posterior cecum due to the fusion of the cardiac and pyloric limbs along lesser curvature. Sark has expanded hook-like structure that is a jessipate stomach generally without a cecum, the pyloric end is smaller in comparison to cardiac portion. Limargus and skymus are peculiar in having the pyloric cecum. That is a limargus, that is you see pyloric cecum. The stomach of amia calba is large and saculate in nature with a distinct posterior cecum. All the feces do not possess a true stomach and is absent in number of species in cypinidae. 
The anterior part of the intestine is swollen to form a sac behind the esophagus, and this structure serves for storage of food, and that is known as intestinal bulb that is found in uh, carp, Labiopata, Labiorhoita, Cutla, Punta Shopper, etc. Gastric glands are not present in the intestine bulb. Genentodon, that is a pediatric fish that has no stomach. Hippocampus, that's a plankton feeders, also without a stomach. And in herbivores, tilapia nilotica and tilapia mozambica, there is well developed stomach for the hydrolysis of the algal wall. The stomach is large in case of Wallagatu, Spirata Ayo, Notopterus, Notopterus, Chitala Chitala, all are carnivorous fish and they are predatory inhabit. Stomach of Lepiosteus, that is an elongated tube like structure which posteriorly forms hooks to the right forwarded to its pyloric valve. Lepiosteus has a mass of tubular pyloric cycle. In Tinulosa hilisa, Mugil parsia, and Gurusia chapra, the stomach is reduced in size but is greatly thickened to become gizzard like modification due to trituration of food. The stomach of Acipenser is not a simple tubular form without a posterior cecum. In its course, it makes a complete circle, curving to left, then formed across the right below the esophagus. The pyloric end has a thicker muscular walls forming a massive pyloric sphincter. Now, all the species do not possess a true stomach, and that is also absent in number of species. Uh, you know, in case of the Cypinidae, there is no stomach. So the stomach varies depending on the food and feeding habit. Now, uh, stomach in amphibians, uh, you know that all amphibian stomachs have a digestive function and highest differentiation in stomach takes place among aneurons. The stomach lies on the left side of the body cavity, attached to the dorsal body wall by a mesentery that is known as mesogaster. In frogs, the cardiac end of the stomach is white, there is no fundus, and the pyloric end is short and narrow. That is a pyloric end, that is a short and narrow. Pyloric stomach is provided with gastric gland. The stomach is not distinguishable grossly from the esophagus. In some urodels, like Necturus, has a spindle separate long stomach. The cardiac and pyloric part has no oil demarcation. In reptiles, there is no striking deviation. Snakes and lizards have long spindle separate stomachs in correlation with their elongated and narrow body shape. There is a clear cut line of demarcation between stomach and esophagus. In turtles, and tartaroises, due to peculiar body shape, the stomach is tubular, but greatly carved into u separate structure. In crocodiles, they have more specialized gastric organs. Part of the stomach is modified into gizzard-like muscular organ, an organ endo with a specially thick muscular part that grinds food. The thin wall glandular region of the stomach lies in front of the gizzard where the gastric juice are. Added. In birds, in accordance with the lack of teeth and the type of food eaten by the birds, the stomach has been modified greatly for trituration. It has become differentiated into two regions, proventriculus, that is the proventriculus that is continuous with the esophagus and has a glandular lining which secretes gastric juice. And the second part, that is a gizzard like that is a much modified, and that is a muscular organ, which represents the pyloric portion of the stomach. The glandular cells lining the gizzard secretes a top only layer, which in some case bear bumps or tubercles on its surface. This aid in the grinding process. The gizzard is best developed in grain eating birds. It is less developed in insect eating birds, and gizzard is absent in nectar eating birds. Now, among mammals, many modifications exist in the transverse, the arranged stomachs that is found. In monotremes, true stomach absent, epithelial lining that lacks gastric gland and presence of pouch-like structure, which serves merely for the storage of food. In platypus, stomachs 
uh, is very simple, blind uh, pouch-like organ and has no clear distinction of the furs. Hindgut fermenters, that are the member of the order Peristodactyla, such as horse, ass, zebra, rhinoceros, and elephants are the monogastric fermenters. They have a, a simple stomach. And enormous cecum, you see, that is a cecum. That is a closed end sac at the junction of the small and the large intestine. Fergus, in case of the forget fermenters, such as the ruminant, you know, its non-absorptive food stomach is divided into three chambers, which store food and process the food, followed by the food chamber that is, uh, have a digestive, digestive functions. So the ruminant, that is the mammals of the other order artiodactyla that digest plant-based food by initially subtaining it within the animal's first stomach, principally uh, through bacterial actions, then uh, regurgitating the semi-digested mass that is known as curd and chewing it again. The process of rechewing the curd to further break down the plant matter and stimulate digestion that is known as ruminating. Ruminating mammals such as cattle, goat, sheep, giraffe, bison, moose, elk, yak, water buffalo, deer, camel, alpaca, antelope, pronghorn, nilgai, etc. Now, the ruminating animals that uh, chew their curd have the most complex stomach. As per example, in cow, uh, the stomach has four chambers, rumen, reticulum, omasum, and abomasum. The ruminants uh, that contains the uh, swallow partly chewed food into the first chambers, which is enormously uh, enlarged, and here the food is moistened and churned, mixing with the symbiotic microorganism that live in the rumen. The mucous membrane is provided with numerous or belly cellulose that is produced from the anaerobic bacteria that is present in the rumen that clip the cellulose molecules into simpler carbohydrates. Next, uh, a reticulum, that is a honeycomb separate structure, so named because due to their mm, uh, complex patterns that is uh, formed by ridges and deep pits. The inner wall lined with mucous membrane and here the small masses that are the curves of the moist plant materials are uh, formed. These curds are regurgitated when the animal is at rest, chewed again, and swallowed into the rumen. And then uh, third chamber, that is omasum, thoroughly masticated and finely ground curd is followed into the rumen and passes into the third chamber. And the mucous membrane is raised up into numerous longitudinal lip-like folds. And abomasum, that is also known as rennet, the abomasum has a smooth vascular glandular mucous membrane. The food material passes through the abomasum where it is processed by the usual digestive enzymes. And this portion is the true stomach because the portion contains the gastric glands. If the gastric gland present, then it is known as a true stomach. If the gastric glands not present, not it is known as true stomach. So if gastric glands present, then it is known as a true stomach. Now, what are the uh, <coughs> mechanism of the regurgitation? Rumination involves complicated waves of contraction that sweep through the rumen and that are the synchronized with remastication and with passage of food along the digestive tract. Initially, ruminant animals clip plant materials, mix it with saliva, roll it into bolly, and swallow it into the rumen. And cycles of contraction pass through the rumen and reticulum to circulate and mix the ingested food with microorganism. And three steps are involved in the regulation process. The ruminant contacts its diaphragm but keep the glottis in closed condition. This produces a negative pressure in the thorax around the esophagus. Now, the gastroesophageal sphincter that is relaxed and the digester are aspirated from the rumen into the esophagus. And next, peristaltic contraction sweeps the digester up to the esophagus into the mouth so the animal can retrieve the undigested plant material. And the process of the reg regurgitation and remastication that is termed as ruminating that occurs repeatedly until most of the material is broke down, broken down mechanically. So the amount of time 
on animals, pain's ruminating depends proportionately on the fiber content of the food and in grazing cattle, this may occupy up to eight hours per day and involve rumination of each bolus 40 to 50 times. In camel, the omasum is lacking. Besides this, both reticulum and rumen bear pouch-like structure. That is the diverticuli from here. That is known as the water cells. And these openings are guarded by the sphincter muscle. The function of the water cells is to retain the metabolic water drawn from other parts of the body and is used to moisten the food during digestion. Much comes indirectly from the breakdown of glycogen stored in the muscles and of fat stored in the hump. The stomach of whales and hippocampus, sorry, hippopotamus, are divided into uh, several compartments. In whale, the stomach is crop-like structure of the bird, which is truly esophageal derivative. In kangaroo, the pyloric portion has uh, many peculiar secluded folds in its wall. In vampire bat, the pyloric portion of the stomach is elongated into cecum-like structure, which fills with blood when the animal is engaged in feeding. Due to blood sucking habit, they have very short lumen in esophagus and stomach through which a solid food cannot pass. In some monkey rodents, a constriction marks of cardiac and pyloric region, and that is known as burglar stomach. These are the reference books, vertebrate life, power at all, comparative anatomy of the vertebrates, kent and carp, vertebrates, comparative anatomy, functional evolution, kent, picardum, elements of quadrate anatomy, wicut and fleece. Thank you, everyone.